Hey guys, Rebel Gabby here with another great tutorial. Today we will be discussing Bexaki hardware and Robot C basics. The VexIQ platform provides a great way of engaging and learning all parts of STEM. So let's review again about what makes a robotic platform. Brain, sensors, and power make a robotic platform. The VexIQ hardware allows you to build machines in many different ways. So let's begin with learning about the VexIQ hardware parts by navigating to this site. This site lets you learn and explore more about VexIQ robotics. Now you want to navigate your mouse to the bottom of the page underneath Curriculum Units and click on Letter B, Let's Get Started. Let's get a closer look at what all the VexIQ parts come with. Navigate your mouse to the right side of your screen and click on B2 using VexIQ hardware. On this page, it tells you that you can build many different types of robots with the VexIQ hardware. If you scroll your mouse down, it will provide you with a closer look at all of the kit hardware and several video tips. Now, let's navigate to the right side of your computer and click on B3 using the VexIQ controller in Robot Brain. This page tells you how easy it is to use the VexIQ controller in Brain. There is also a diagram under Component Overview that tells you how to connect the controller and brain together. Since I do not have a physical VexIQ robot, I'm not going to spend too much time discussing about the controller. The reason why is because we are using Robot Virtual Worlds. So on this page, let's talk a little bit about the robot brain. On the brain, you can only connect 12 cables. There are 6 ports on both longer sides of the brain. The only cables that can connect to the brain are smart cables of any sizes. For more information, see the video down below. Now, let's open up the Robot C development environment. The Robot C development environment is where you type your code and then compile and download your program so that it can be used in Robot Virtual Worlds. Robot C offers many different types of programming languages for different robotic platforms, but for right now, my tutorials will be focused on the Robot C text based programming language. Robot C does have a graphical based option, which is a block style programming language similar to Scratch, but my dad believes that typing code helps you become a better programmer. Also, because with the drag and drop code, most people won't try to read their code or understand what they are coding. Luckily for us, Robot C has provided sample code as guides for us. So for today, let's get started off with some basics by looking at the moving forward sample code. A way that you can get to your sample code is by navigating to the top left side of the window and click on your orange folder. When you get there, click on VexIQ, then double click on movingforward.c. Your sample code should open in the Robot C development environment. And here's what the code should look like. Your sample code makes your virtual robot go forward. To move forward, you need to have both motors on at a certain speed. Let's talk about what each line of code does. Now, for those who don't have any experience in programming, this is where the fun comes in. I'm not going to give you a history lesson on programming, but just know that the basics of programming are variables, data types, conditional statements, loops, and functions. What? And as I explain this code, I may mention some terms you don't know. But if you keep watching all of my videos, you will eventually learn everything you need to know. So let's get started. In our first line of code, we are specifying what type of robot we're using. Hashtag pragma is a keyword that is used by robot C. Following that is config. Config is some type of function that is used to tell the compiler what type of robot you're using. I know that you guys may not understand what a keyword, compiler, or what a function is, but again, just stick with me and I'll teach you everything you need to know along the way. The second line of your code is your task main. The task main decides which code the robot will run as part of the main program. The task main is also the main function where the compiler will execute all the code within task main's curly brackets. 
The next two lines sets the motor speed for the left and right motors at 50. Set motor speed is a function created by Robot C that is used to set the speed of the motors. The set motor speed function only takes two parameters. Those two parameters are the motor index and the speed. In the last line within the task main function is the sleep function. The sleep function only takes one parameter, which is a number representing milliseconds. From what I have discovered, the sleep function actually tells the robot how far it needs to move in milliseconds. And this is the code for our basic moving forward. Now let's navigate to compile and download so we can see this code in action in Robot Virtual Worlds. Alright, now let's log in to our CS2N account. Or if you don't have an account, you can log in locally. Let's navigate to the Moving Forward Challenge and click Start Challenge. So let me explain what these buttons are. The first button is the play button. It runs your robot. The second button is the button that reverses your robot so that it starts the whole program over. And then the third button is the home button so you can pick different challenges. We have other buttons that are cameras. The camera number one follows your robot. Camera number two is the top view of your robot. Camera number three is where you can view your robot from any type of angle that you want. The button up here is the show button. It measures your distance. The last button is a sensor, but I'll be talking about that in future tutorials. Now let's press the play button. Yay, we did it! So today, you guys have learned a little bit about Vex IQ hardware and Robot C Basics. In my next tutorial, I'll be continuing with Robot C Basics and having fun with Robot Virtual Worlds. Please remember to subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and let me know how I did. And remember, girls can be engineers too. Bye!